You've noted that a lot of uh, facilities now are moving towards that one room, the, the yeah. live room collapsed into the control room and so on. I don't think that's COVID related. I think that's just been going on for a while. Do you change your philosophies as a result? Do, do the, um... No, we still, our goal is still the same. We're trying to make accurate sounding rooms that translate from room to room in a professional standard. So I, if anything, I think they give us more opportunities. The rooms get bigger. The listening room, instead of a small control room and a small live room, you now have one combo room. So the rooms get bigger. Quite frankly, bigger rooms are easier for us to analyze and design. Low frequency behaves better. They've allowed us to play around with some, some ergonomic uh, modifications that have been fun. But our philosophy is still the same, mm -hmm. and our analysis is still the same. The bigger spaces will always be around. Are you finding that your business yeah. is moving towards the smaller spaces now? Maybe Absolutely. home yeah. listening rooms, home studios? and It's been that way for about five years. Um, this is a concept that Chris Stone verbalized years ago in his, in his uh, seminal work, motherships and satellites, motherships and satellites. And so there's always going to be some big studios. If you think about it, the goal is to get your smaller home studio or project studio, call it whatever you want, or e-studio, which is what we're calling it, and e for express. It's just a name we gave because we, yeah. wanted, we didn't like home and project anymore. Yeah. You need to have those, the experience in those rooms have to parallel the larger tracking rooms. That's the goal. Yeah. Okay? That, that's harder to do than you think, but that is the goal because if they can track and parallel each other, you can work seamlessly from one to the other. If you have to record 25 musicians, you, you can't do it in your bedroom. I mean, there's just yeah. no room. <laughs> so you go to Electric Lady or Jungle or Capital or whatever, wherever you are, yeah. okay, in the city of your choice, and you do your work, and then you bring it back into your personal environment. And that information and that work has to translate, and then it has to translate when it goes to the mastering houses. Yeah. So th those three universes have to agree to talk to each other. But it's always been that way. Mm. It's just more that way now. Yeah. Okay, so we need great speakers, which we have, but we also need great acoustics, which we also can have. We're on part B. Yeah. <laughs> part B is our job. Yeah. And... Uh, your work is in the middle of part A and B. You're you're in, you're you're somewhat in A and somewhat in B. The work that you do, which of course has been outstanding. Mm. Little plug for you in the in our program. <laughs> Thanks. So you're always developing new tools and new processes and so on. So this just makes it more and more affordable for people, I would imagine, to to get the expertise of WSDG and. Uh... Yeah, we saw this a while ago. Uh, again, this is not. Not new, but we, we saw this happening. So if we, it was obvious that if we didn't figure out how to deal with smaller projects, which of course means smaller fees. They just have smaller budgets. We're going to be out of work mm. or going to have less work. And also, it, it wasn't even that. I mean, I, I my goal was never to take over the world. I, I didn't wake up one day in 1968 and say, <laughs> Let's try to get a 70-person global studio design company. I, I Believe me, that wasn't my goal. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'd never even been in a recording studio. You know the story. Yeah. I've told you a number of times. It wasn't that hard to see. I, I don't give myself any, any real uh, award for recognizing it. It was pretty obvious what was happening. And so we just figured out how to... Uh, restructure some of our services, and also, as I as I've told you a few times, and you're going to see it popping out in about 30 to 60 days on a more formal PR basis. We created our own software for quickly figuring out low frequency analysis. Low frequency analysis is is really the heart and soul of small room design. Mid and high frequency reflection control is not overwhelmingly difficult. As a matter of fact, I, for, for our team, it's, it's a trivial exercise. Mm -hmm. Figure out where the reflections are, which is easy. Put some absorption where they are. Get your geometry to work. Mm -hmm. And make sure you don't have harsh first reflections, which cause comb filters. This is not rocket science. Mm -hmm. All frequency analysis, this is, this is a little bit more complicated. 
because this involves understanding room nodes and under, understanding uh, comp uh, slightly more complex equations. Um, the treatments for damping low frequencies are more complex. Mm -hmm. We need to do them membranically or with resonators, and those are not so easy to make and predict. And so we needed to develop a tool that got us there quickly, which we have done. We formed a research company. Um, we got a director of research, smartest guy I know, Peter D'Antonio, along with three other programmers. We've invested over a hundred grand in that software. It is proprietary. We're not selling it. And we've been using it now for the last six months. Mm -hmm. we're, we'll have some proof of concept rooms coming out. We've already had proof of concept testing in stupid spaces, but some of the projects that we've been, that are now being built. Mm -hmm. will come online in Q1 and Q2 of 21, so that'll be very, very exciting. We reverse engineered some rooms that we've done, in other words, rooms that we didn't use the tool for, design, came out successful, so then we reverse engineered them to see if the results are parallel, which they are. So we, this is actually really exciting, and it's, it's not so much exciting from a financial point of view, it's just exciting because I like doing the work. Mm -hmm. I'm, or I don't have to work anymore. I I've, I don't need to work financially. I, I've been we've been very blessed. I enjoy doing it a little bit like you. I just like doing the work. I enjoy the discovery process. Yeah, yeah. Um, these smaller studios are here to stay. This is clearly not going backwards. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine why it would want to go backwards. Yeah.